Hi, I'm Morgan from WholeLatteLove.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade coffee creamer. Now, this is a great way to save you money, but also can really save you when you run out of your coffee creamer and then realize you might have all of these ingredients right in your kitchen. Here's what you'll need. It's really simple. You're just going to add equal parts sweetened condensed milk and the milk of your choice. And then to add some flavor, you can use an extract or even some flavored syrups. Really, the possibilities are endless. And that's what makes it so fun. There's just so many different flavor combinations that you can do. So I'm gonna be showing you how to make salted caramel, and I chose this because it's my sidekick Mark's absolute favorite flavoring, so I thought I'd make this one for him. Morgan, you're the best. I know I am. All right, let's put it together. What you're gonna do is just start with your sweetened condensed milk, and so I'm just gonna use the whole can. It's 14 ounces, and you can use fat-free if you like. Okay, just get that in there. And now, what's so nice to save on dishes is for your milk, you can actually just measure it right in the can. I like things to be simple, so. Okay, pour that in. And now for the salted caramel, I'm gonna use about two ounces of caramel ice cream topping. A lot of people have that at home. And if you're gonna be doing um, a flavoring with extract, start with one teaspoon of extract, say French vanilla, if you want to um, have that flavoring, or you could do almond, and then you can adjust according to your preferences. And for the salt, I'm using uh, one teaspoon of salt. Okay. Put your lid back on. And just shake it up so you mix it really well. Okay, looks good to me. Let's have a taste. So I brewed some Lavazza Gran Aroma on the Bonavita Exceptional Brew, one of our favorite drip coffee makers. All right, so the mason jars are great. You can just store that right in the fridge. Um, I also like to use these Tupperware containers because they have a nice pourable spout, and also it's portable, so you can take it to work with you. And I've actually labeled mine because I've made a few different kinds at once, so I know what's what. All right, time to add our creamer to our coffee. It's kind of heavy on the creamer, but that's okay. Mm. I mean, really, in my opinion, this is better than the stuff you get at the store. Again, this is how to make homemade coffee creamer, and I'm Morgan from WholeLatteLove.com. Thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com.